Hi guys. Okay, right, there we go. A tube by oh forgot. Nicholas de la Rox. Oh man. Okay. And You see those little lines there? Make it more smoother. Like they are actually portato, tenuto. They are not. They are. The one is softer, the other is more like emphasis. And then we have crescendo. Like a wave goes, and then we come back. You know? Don't, don't miss that. You're moving your thumb too much. Just fix it. Don't 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 go like you know. Just fix the thumb. Exactly, so go all the way down. The, uh, always go with the harmony. Then, 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 harmony, piano. So it's all harmony. Just that is why it's so difficult because you have to illustrate the harmony coming and the harmony that comes, you know. slightly off tune but and change the immediately this C sharp changes to what from F and B uh, from F major and B uh, flat major to one you see bam boom literally for two tones and he goes literally in D minor and then D major. Mm -hmm. which is mean enlarge you know so you see he he goes through the whole entire spectrum of the register of the violin you see Do 
Those are the important tones. Those are the important tones. Look, 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 look. This still continuous sound. Look. Can you hear D? That is important. That's, this is the changing of the harmony. You know. Then. Right? Okay. Although it's a minor, you know, then it's just like beautiful. Bravo. I'll make do it with the fourth finger. Don't stress out, it's just like um This is make make possible the whole string to be fully, you know, involved, engaged into sound, you know. It's like the Bach chord, you remember? It's the Bach, this is a typical Bach chord, by the way. Da -dee -da 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 -da. This is the cadence chord, you know. Then and uh huh. Start from the dum bum bum. Use more bow. Use more bow. It's forty. It's forty. It's forty. You're doing it sometimes. Sometimes you're doing it, sometimes you forget. Yeah. It's a. It's just like. Don't afraid to let your hand use the, your natural weight, but at the same natural gravity. You know? Da -di -da -di -da. Bravo. Mm -hmm. 
and, and make this force like it comes like in the uh, uh, look it's like a you, you have the scale you go up and then once in a sense you just go fly down like you land literally da -di -da -di -da -di -da. like you gather energy right and then you <laughs> Sorry. Oh. We just tuned it. And still out of tune. Uh -huh. So give it the time. Don't, you do something like, you know. But it's just there is a rest, you know, tam pam 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 pam, you know. Rest. You see, it's just like one rest, one rest, bam. It's like in an orchestra. It is just as a typical orchestra playing, you know. You know, rest. So it's giving the time for everyone to prepare the chord, the hit, the very last hit. Uh huh. Di -ra -di -ra. Di mm -hmm. That's pretty much how it is, and okay. <laughs> just every single thing. You use this as a solo piece, by the way. Nicholas Larox is one of the, the greatest teachers in the past. So, so his technology, whomever has actually studied under the Nicholas Larox system, they improve tremendously. Almost forgotten system, but in Europe it's one of the main uh, violin system for study. All, most of the great <laughs> violinists actually in the, the past century they actually studied through this one <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. well that's it <laughs>